こんにちは、ヴィバリー。ボーフレイン、Thank you for the two months of q u i t i q u i t i Hello, everybody. Wow, I am exhausted. <laughs>、uh, hello, hello. My setup still isn't like completely figured out yet. Zatsis are fine, but. Oh, that's kind of loud for me. I don't know, is that loud for you, Chad? Taco Tempras, thank you so much for the 20 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts in chat for Taco Tempras and the 20 gifted? Thank you, thank you.、Mm, there should be like some ominous kind of like noises in the background. It's not loud? Okay, that's good. Yeah. We... All right, chat. I have. I have a thing that I could、uh, announce.、Um... <laughs> it's, it's rumbly, but it's fade much quieter than your voice. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good.、Uh, next week, I believe.、Uh, by next week, I should finally be back to a proper schedule. Um, yeah, it should be next week. It should be next week. We are like in the process of wrapping up some last minute stuff that we've got. And after we finish wrapping that up, we should be back to a consistent schedule once more.、Um, so look forward to like the usual Monday, Tuesday,、uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like five times a week. Or at least that's the, that's the goal for now.、Um, so. If the boys and I have kind of sporadic schedules all over the place, please be patient with all of us. We are we're just wrapping up, and by next week it should be good. Yeah. f l i b e r d o hello. Thank you for the dive months and navigator tier. Thank you, thank you. Half Hollow Fest is super duper fun. Love to have gone, but I spent all my save money to see Otto next week. Ooh, I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun. Yeah. I'll quit, I'll quit. I've been since morning, I've been hearing like screaming and like shouting and yelping from upstairs. <laughs> I think I, I like popped into Haku's stream and I think he's like eating various foods. He ate a mochi, right? Because I remember him telling me that mochi was like a texture thing for him. Lucy, o k o i d i thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Let's know you and the boys are having fun in Japan. I wish I could go to Hollow Expo next time. Let's hope we can, I hope we can invite more folks to Hollow Expo. Just bigger, bigger venue, more tickets, just more people having a chance to stop by. He made a bunch of two out of ten. He did not like the texture. <laughs> He's just trying to finish it. Oh, man. Ah, poor Haka. But yeah,、um, Frankie, thank you so much for joining. Welcome, welcome, Okuri, to give you the collective. <laughs> Hall of f e s t Tokyo Dome Ben. Ah,、oh, that'd be so cool. That would be so cool. I think in the future we'll have. Like, in the future, I would like to have like more. Just like a bigger venue, just with more of us. I want to see the, the senpais on the stage again. It's a lot of fun. Very inspiring. Hmm. <laughs> Visualizing a crow trying to eat mochi, right? Just pecking at it and like using its beak to try to pull off a little piece of the mochi. But then, like, as it tries to chew, it gets stuck on the beak and it's like, ah. <laughs> mochi texture freaks me out. My brain thinks it's gum and it can't swallow. Oh, no, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, man. Chad, I'm so sorry. I have like, ex like, I'm exhausted, but like, it's a physical exhaustion because my muscles are all like super sore.、Um, they've been sore for like two days. At this point, I've been trying to like stretch and like wiggle around to like get them back into shape, but like, oh. What did you do? Spoilers. <laughs> no, we were doing idle duties. Um, so it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I, I need to like get some WD 40 for my joints in order to do these things.、Um, 
I need a lot of WD-40. <laughs> but yeah, no spoilers for this one. Ha ha ha. But it is, it is, it is idle arc. Oh, that's spicy. Wait, right, not spicy. It's hot. It's the word. My coffee is really hot. No trading montage? No. If, if I had a trading montage, though, like, at most, it would be like this. It would just be, like, vigorous side-to-side -side turning. Hanabis, hello. Thank you for the one month. Okwedi, okwedi. Have lots of fun and create great memories. Thank you for creating fun memories for me. Of course, of course. Thank you for re upping that membership. Welcome back. Okwedi, okwedi. Yeah, not, not spicy coffee. Hot coffee. Speaking of which, chat, there's so little spice here in Japan. It's it's like so difficult to find spice and I'm just kind of like struggling because I'm like, give give me something. Give me some spicy stuff, right? I bought like a bottle of chili oil and it is tiny. Like I, I used like the regular amount of spice that I would use for my food and it's like a third of the bottle. So like three meals and it's gone. Like that's how that's how bad it is. Tea trees, thank you for the 10 months. Got my Puniko today. Hope you join Ease up soon. Thank you. Puniko is so cute and squishy. There's like the side of Puniko that does not have a hat. It's like really smooth. I, I like to like stick my face in that on that side. It's really soft. <laughs> Make your own chili oil? No, I couldn't make my own chili oil. Um, I don't really have like the materials, and I can't really buy the things. Um, it would be, it would be a little bit difficult for me to do so. Yeah, it's so cute. It is. It's really soft. Yeah. All right, Chet. Today, we are buried. And I made the joke in my secret message in the descriptions that we're probably going to have to pay rent for this place too, even though we're buried alive in a coffin. Um, I actually don't know anything about this game other than it's supposed to be an escape game. And I have seen, I saw Fuma Senpai uh, playing it a while back, a couple of days ago. Um, so yeah, we'll, we will have to see how we can escape from this place. Coffins in LA, right? <laughs> also, will you send by? <gasps> yeah, that's true. Will you send by also play? I didn't get to catch will you send by's playthrough of it. All right. Apparently, it's really short. That's not. That's not bad. But short is good, I think, for now. Uh, I still have to like figure out all of my settings for for my game stuff. Genie, hello. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. You got some hearts in chat for Genie and the gifted memberships. Yeah, it is very expensive to be dead. Very expensive. Honestly, here's the thing though. If I ever pass, I want to be like... Oh wait, chat, did you guys know? Um, if you're cremated, your remains are called your cremains. Because... Cremation remains cremains. Like I appreciate the little pun. I appreciate the pun. It's a little bit of like a haha. Hey, sorry, it's not the right not the right appropriate moment, but no, like it legitimately is called that. It is really called that. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> it actually is called that. Um so I appreciate that, you know, it's, they have a little bit of humor, you know, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think if I were to be, if I were to like pass, I would rather just be like tossed into the ocean. I don't know. Like, I think it would be super cool to like, you know, in like space movies, when like someone passes, they like put the body in the coffin. Was it from Halo? I think it was from Halo. Like one of the, the main characters in Halo passes and then as a send off, they put him in the coffin, they shoot him out into space. And it was like this really cool like moment where they like have like, it, it's so ceremonial, right? And Star Trek too. Yeah, and Star Trek as well. Like, I, I think like 
that's kind of cool. So like, I can't, I can't afford that. So I would much rather be like sent off into like the sea because that's like the earth version of space, you know, Are those starship troopers. <laughs> Mari, thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you, thank you, Look, lady. There's something beautiful about a body you're turning to nature too. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy for Yandu. Yeah, that too. Like that kind of stuff. In StarCraft 2, Stu calls funeral, right? Kill Fida says his final act. <laughs> but like, that's what I love it. Malorus, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. But that's why I like it. It's like, you know, the burial at sea. But in space, they just kind of send the body off. And then who knows where it ends up, you know? G-Dragon, thank you for the 13 months. Okay, okay. I want to know, like, how far, how far will the body travel? You know, like way off into the future. But yeah, Viking Spinner sounds real good. Yeah. Because I hear like coffins are really expensive. Um it never really occurred to me how expensive it could be to pass and like coffins are like thousands of dollars and i'm like oh wow that's that's a lot like some of them cost as much as a whole new car and it's like wow that's i feel like that's a little excessive but you know i don't know it's odd it's a, it's a very odd feeling to me peter thank you for the soup i'm making sure you so with eggs mashed fried beans Fried rice, have fun playing. This may be uncomfy because I hate tight spaces. Oh yes, this is a very big claustrophobia warning. Um, this takes place in first person and you are actually inside a box. Um, it is very claustrophobic, so please be, uh, if you need to, like minimize the screen, um, pop it out into a smaller player, and then uh, like remind yourself just like look away from the screen every now and then if it does bother you. Wings of health, the give of the super. I think ocean barriers are more expensive because there's a lot of requirements like Weighted coffin boat rental. Oh no, like just put me on a dinghy and then just like throw me overboard. Like that's like sneak me on on a suitcase and then just kick the suitcase overboard. Like that I don't I don't want it to be fancy. It doesn't need to be fancy. It, it just just kick me overboard. That's fine. You know? Um Anavis, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts to chat for the gifted memberships? <laughs> yeah, just like you know those like floaties? Right? Just put some floaties on me and then just throw me over the board, you know, like it <laughs> Yeah, that's that's all you gotta do. Just yeep. And then nature will take care of itself over time, you know. <gasps> Thank you for the 20 additional gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. you get some more hearts and chef for Hanabis. Thank you, thank you. And beep, welcome back. Thank you for re upping that membership. Okay, okay. Make sure there's a note to explain that it's not a murder. <laughs> okay, I'll have like a handwritten note that's like notarized and signed properly, and like stamped with all that stuff to make sure that no one gets in trouble for it. It's like, I want this. <laughs> ah. All right, chat. Let us get buried or escape from being buried. I don't know what the, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Options. Arachnophobia. Skip intro. No. Tutorials. Run in the background. Display. I want to have VSync on just in case. Audio. Reduce the amount of common voice interactions and breathing that you'll hear. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I want to reduce the sensitivity a little bit. Oh, phone toggle. Oh, lighter toggle. Ooh. There is an arachnophobia uh, setting. I, for my playthrough, I will leave this off because I kind of want to know what it's like. I want, I want the full experience with the arachnophobia. But yes, let's go. Okay, begin. Oh, it's like quiet. Oh, wait, no, it's not quiet. It's kind of loud. Thank you 
Thank you. Oh, quite up, quite This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. I this shall quite up, quite Shit. Where is it? Where is it? All right. Wait, I think it's a little quiet. Oh. Oh, wow. This is. Oh my god, this is. Okay. Um first of all, everyone. Oh wait, the battery goes down. The darkness. Being in the dark is not good for your anxiety. Oh. That's good to know. While in the dark, your anxiety will increase quickly, causing you to panic, which will rapidly reduce how much oxygen you have left. Oh my god. <laughs> um, keeping lights on will make you feel safe and reduce anxiety levels. Only problem is your light sources cannot stay on forever. Be mindful of your light sources and be careful while staying in the dark. Wow. Okay. Oh gosh, we're gonna... <laughs> Here we go. Chat, this is why you always charge your phones, okay? So-so. Oh, Quady, thank you for being with the membership. Okay. Okay. Bag. Uh, bag. What is this? Lighter. Why is that so dramatic? Managing your light sources are very important. You can only use a lighter or your phone if they have sufficient fuel or battery available. If they run out, they will be unusable and you'll be left in the dark. To use your lighter, press two. To use your phone light, bring your phone up and press one to, or press the flashlight app. You do not want to continue to be in the dark for too long. Everything is fine. Okay. All right, all right, let's, let's try to move. Oh. Okay. That's a spider. Uh, I need something for this. Eight. Okay. I need a key. What's all those all the stuff around here? Oh my god. Okay. Twenty one percent. Oh no. What is this? What is this? Okay. A three digit combination. Some kind of a three-digit combination, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I can't tell how much, like, fuel I have left. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, the bottle says eight. Is that a thing? Oh, this is three. I will get out. Two. Two. Three. Two and eight. Okay, I'm gonna turn my phone off. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Three, two, and eight. Three, two, eight. I don't know which order it's gonna be in. No. Eight, three, two. Oh no. Oh wait, hold on. I could I could turn this off. Wait, my anxiety, my anxiety. Three, eight. Whoa. What was that? Okay. Okay. I need a key. All right. I need a key. I don't. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, uh, two, eight, three is not it. Uh, how about we do... Okay, wait. Oh no. Two, three, eight. Okay, there we go. Two, three, eight. A key? What did I, what did I just pick up? 16%. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I wonder if the key opens that one. Okay. What is that? I 
need a key. I think I got a hammer. I need a key. I need a key. Okay. I need something for this. I need a key. I need something for this. Oh my god. What did I get? I think I got some kind of a hammer, but I'm not really sure what it was. Something for this. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Okay. I need a key. Okay. Put the phone away. I need something for this. I need something for this. Ah. Uh. I wonder what it, what could I use that thing for? I can turn that off. Let's see. Is there? I need something for this. I need something for this. I need a key. Oh no. I need something for this. I'm not really sure what it was. Yeah, the spider's gone, but I I don't know where I'm supposed to go with it. I need something for this. I need something for this. Yeah, the Oh. You will die here. Oh, how nice. They left us left us a key. Okay. Okay. Uh, phone away. What the heck is that? Is that a rock? Okay. I need something. For this. I need something for this. Oh. I need a key. Ooh. Okay. 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 What is that? Got it. Okay. I need something for this. I need a key. Oh jeez. 12%. I need something for this. I need something for this. It's actually kind of difficult to figure out exactly where is where the thing is. Like what I need something for this. What I need. I don't know what the something is. Okay, okay, okay. I need a key. I need something for this. Okay, so that I need something for this. A key. Where would I find another key? Behind the bags? Oh! What is that? Oh! I need something for this. I need something for this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Wait, okay, turn the light off. Fl switch out to lighter. I think we need one more of these. Oh no. I think I need one more of these like little uh, white like switches. But I'm not sure where I would find one. Where was it? Where would? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. How do? This is not how I die. Okay. How am I supposed to figure this out? Is it like one, two, three, four? Oh no. Oh, hey though. Are you. Man, even if I'm buried alive, I have a roommate. Is this the only way we can afford rent? I'm sorry, but like, oh man, we gotta split rent like this. Are you serious? Can't have anything in this economy, I swear. God. Okay. How do I... God, seriously. This is terrible. I... <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a four, four, four digits, five possible states. Okay. There was a key when I looked around. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that this it? Is not how I die. Four, five, four, three. Is that it? Four, five, four, three? Okay. One, two, three, four, four, five, four, three. Wait. Or is it the other way around? Like, is this four? Four, five, four, three? What? Everything is fine. One. Okay, there's four digits there. Don't turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. Okay. Four, five, four, three. It should be four, five, four, three, right?
Wait, four, five. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Four, five, four, three. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, key. Yeah, yeah you know what? I know it's crabs. All right. I need something for this. Okay, I was able to slide open the lock. The locks. I need something for this. But I need something else for that. Do you do you know what it is? Oh god. Okay. Five percent battery. Oh. Oh, cute. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's really cute. Okay, we got the coin, and now we can use it to. Oh, thanks. I can't breathe. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. We're almost out. Okay. Now we can get that out. And then this. Oh. so much for playing Barry. I wanted to create something different and interesting for Halloween 2023. I spent a month creating the game so I hope you enjoyed the experience. This is a lot of fun to make and a big challenge to put it out in such a short amount of time. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, wow. That was... I... I know chat warned me that it was a short game. I know chat warned me it was short. I didn't realize how short. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> speed run? Okay, let's try speed run again. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Wait, no, but this is a cute. This is cute. Fuck, I like fuck, it. Fuck, fuck. Okay. Help! We're, we're gonna try. We're gonna try speed run this time. Please. I will say though, there was like a little bit of like panic in my head. Um, so like I wasn't able to pay attention to as much as I wanted to, because I was like, wait, there's like multiple timers happening. There was like your phone's battery timer your flashlight or your lighters fuel timer as well as your oxygen timer and there was no way to tell except for the battery um what was what okay so i was stressing out a little bit okay let's go take the key four five one four two okay uh move that away move that aside uh one Okay, that's a one. That's a three. Okay. Where is... Wait, where's the third number? Where's the third number? Uh... Three... One... Two. Three, one, two. Okay, okay. Two, one... Three. No. Three, one, two. One... What are... One, two, three. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Get that. Switch and a key. Uh, first key is for this. Put that down. Hammer and this is dick. not how I die. Okay. I need uh, something for this. Five, 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 one, four, two. Over. Wait. Uh, phone down. Lighter on. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, some pants. 
No, not my pants. Where's the where's the, where's the box? Where's the box? <laughs> where's the box? No. <laughs> Wait, it's just my pants. <laughs> no. <laughs> I went too fast. I couldn't. <laughs> oh no! I can't actually get the box. It like it won't let me click on the box. I can't even click on where the slides would be. Oh no. Ah yes. Pants. These are my pants. Okay. I could... <laughs> I'm gonna have to restart. I'm gonna have to restart. I don't think there's a way to get that. Okay, return to title. We're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> nice pants. Shiny pants. <laughs> All right. Fuck. This game was only made in a fuck. month. Fuck. 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 I like the idea. <laughs> I like the idea of like an Help escape room, me. and the fact that it's Please. a first person is kind of nice. Oh. Shit. Okay. 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 Shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is okay. How does it get them so shiny? <laughs> Shit. Where is it? It's like those old Flash games. Yeah. Where is it? All right. I want to know who our roommate was. Okay. Oh, whoa. Hang on. Control sensitivity is like way too high. All right. Get the bags away. Get the bag away. Get that. Move these out of the way. We have one, seven, one. Okay. One, seven, one. No. So one, one, seven. Okay, no. Seven, one, one. There we go. I will get out. Yeah, who is roommate Chen? Like that. Two switches. Okay, now flashlight goes down. Oh wait, no. I haven't picked up my lighter yet. Okay. Switch over to lighter. Get the box. And we can put in I need something for this. We need I two need more. Something for this. Key. Four five four one. Okay. Grab that. Get this. The rock. There we go. Four five four one. So four five four one. Open that up, get the key, unlock that, and then slide that over. Uh, roommate Chan, I need your key coin, please. Thank you. All right, let's go. Go. Oh, double handed. Come on, come on, come on. Get. Wait. Oh no, did I? Wait, no, I think I can't. It won't let me. I have the hammer, but it won't let me hammer the thing again. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going too fast. No. Roommate chat looks like it's just you and me now. Here forever. Want to hold hands? Ooh. I mean, it's like right there. Man, yeah, I did fuck out again. Okay, one more time, one more time. <laughs> I think I had to let it finish the animation completely. Hand holding in the coffin, so romantic, right? Fuck. It's goals. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. You keep finding glitches on horror games, Help be hired by them. Please. <laughs> All right, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Shit. I think roommate Chen needs like a cough drop though. Shit. What happens if you don't get out? I think you okay. end up dying. This is okay. Should we just find out? Where is it? Ray Styles, thank you for being the membership. Where is it? What if we held hands inside the buried coffin? Okay. 
Haha, <laughs> unless. <laughs> oh, wait. Controls. I know it's like set to eight, but like it resets every time it uh, leaves. What is that? Okay. Uh, let's get the lighter. Get the lighter. Okay. Move that aside. We have numbers seven, eight, and one. Seven, eight, one. Okay. One, seven, eight. No. One, eight, seven. No. Eight, one, seven. Perfect. Got it. Quick. Key and slider. Hammer and slider. Key and number is four, three, five, five. Uh, get this one. Slider. Rock. <laughs> slider. Okay. Flashlight off. Put it down. Get the box out. Combination was... 4355. Five. Okay. 4355. Five. Open that up. Get the key. Unlock that. Slide this over. Slide this over. Slide this. Oh my god. Slide this. Ruby Chan. I will get out. Slide this. Slide. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and we get the coin from Ruby Chan. Oh my god. Okay. Wait for the animation to finish. Okay, now we can open this one. Wait for the animation to finish. Don't go too fast. Now we can tap this out. Tap this out. And we did it. Let's go. <laughs> How fast was that? I wasn't paying attention to it. It's only been 10 minutes since we finished the first time. <laughs> oh man. It's opening. Try the bad ending next time. It's opening. Okay, yeah, let's try the bad ending next time. If you tap both sides fast enough, you can get hammers. That's true. But my worry is um, the last time I unscrewed the screws with the coin uh, twice in the future or like twice in the like in the same time, and I bugged out. So like I don't want I didn't want to go too quickly on those. Okay, let's see what happens if we run out of oxygen or die. Oh, I'm curious now. Try not doing anything. Yeah, a death speed run. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Ooh. Fuck! 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 Help! Help me! I wonder what the Please. spider does. I'm not sure if the spider actually does anything. Because. Shit! Even if we get bitten by the spider, Shit. it doesn't kill you that fast. The suffocation will get us more than. More than anything else. This is okay. This is okay. <sighs> Shit. Where is it? Ooh. Sorry, Chad. It's like Where still morning for me. It? All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna make everything run out. Sorry. Controls. Okay. There we go. All right. So we're just gonna chill here. And see what I can't touch a spider. Spider. What is that? It's a spider. No, I can't touch the spider. No. Light off will make you panic. Oh, that's true. We should try that next. So let's burn through all the resources we've got, all the fuel. And then after we burn through the fuel and we got plunged into darkness, we'll see what happens. Um if we run out of oxygen versus running out of stamina. Yeah. Can't put the spider. No. He's a cute baby though. I don't 
actually believe you would get many um, spiders inside a coffin because there wouldn't be like insects, you know? This is okay. Rumi Chen? No, Rumi Chen's not here yet. Um, like the spiders only really set up these spider webs in an area that's kind of open that they know has some kind of uh, like bug traffic. You got any games in your phone? Oh! <gasps> Everything is fine. Mom? I need something for this. I need something for this. Wait, there's lore. What? Hold up. <laughs> Wait, there's there's lore? I need something for this. I need something for this. Almost done. What do you need? Sent at 635. Nothing else. You got it. Thanks. Be home soon. KK. Okay. Everything okay? It's been an hour. Sam? Coffin? Trash bag? Water bottle? What? <gasps> Coffin? Right there? Zero? I will get out. Trash? On the left? A six? And the water bottle? Oh... How did Sam know? What? What time is it right now, actually? Hang on. 2.19? So we were in there the, for a long time. No network connection. No network connection for email. Everything is fine. Settings, no service. What? How did they know? Oh. Oh, geez. Derek, Aaron, Mal. No, it's just Sam. I can't interact with Mom. I can't interact with Derek or Aaron. This is okay. Mal. Customer care. Um, do you see how the cursor changes to that little circle? That's actually not customer care. It's... Um, the box behind it. Rumi Chan's not here yet either. Almost done. What else do you need? Nothing else. I can do this. Huh. I'm hmm. Interesting. The sun says red. This one says red. These were sent. And then we received this an hour later. And then we got we sent what right afterwards? My battery is getting low. Ruby Chen? I think Ruby Chen wants to hold hands. No, Ruby Chen's not even here yet. Interesting. Is Sam our SO? I think so because of the hearts. But Almost done. What else do you need? Nothing else. You got it. Thanks. I can do this. Be home soon. What? Rumi Chan's there? Hand on my chest? Oh! Aww! I didn't notice. No, I was too busy focusing on the phone. I didn't notice the hand on my chest. Aww! Cute. <laughs> Just a little hug. Oh. Okay. Is <sighs> how would Sam know? I'm so curious. It should have been me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Five percent. Let's see what happens. There's no, like, oxygen meter, too. Rumi Chen needs their breast deep. Four <laughs> percent. Two twenty-two. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't Sam who sent it? Maybe. Spooning in the puzzle coffin. That's actually kind of sweet. I will get out. It's kind of cute. AM or PM? I'm going to assume this is AM. Um, 
because these messages were sent at PM. So we sent like, hey, you know, be home soon, KK. An hour later, everything okay, Sam? And then we get this like cryptic message, which we later find out to be the clues in the coffin. Oh, cute. <laughs> Ruby Chen's like, it's okay. Calm down. You're gonna be fine. Aww. Aaron, Mal. I wonder if there's any any significance to the rest of these. How I die. Oh, cute. Oh. <laughs> Phone's dead. <laughs> I think we startled Ruby Chan so hard that they. Lighters out. They yoinked the uh, hand back and then they hit the elbow on the inside wall of the coffin. Like, ouch. <laughs> Darkness. Being in the dark is not good for your anxiety. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens if we uh, sit here without any darkness. The worst they can see is no chat. And then they just like yank their arm back hard enough they slam their elbow and take the coffin wall. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Alright, let's see. I really can't see anything and moving my mouse doesn't do anything besides like we can see this stuff here. Oh, <gasps> is that Ruby Chan? This is not how I die. Yeah, it's Ruby Chan. I I wonder if this is gonna be a jump scare. I think it's Ruby Chan. I think I. Oh. Oh, okay. I I think we may have. I think Ruby Chan might be scared. Or shy. Wait, we got. Oh man. Are you telling me we missed this kind of like interaction? Oh no, I think Ruby Chan hit their elbow again. <laughs> we, if you play the game well and correctly and manage to escape, you don't get to see these. What? What the heck? I wonder if there's anything else. You know, for some for a game account that warned us about like anxiety, we're sitting pretty, I think. Yeah, I don't see anything either this right now. How I die. Oh. I hear noises, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure who it is. Wait. There might be really cool things happening inside the coffin that we can't see because... I can't breathe. Oh no. The wildest ASMR experience yet. Uh, 1 in 100, I need you. Thank you for the 3 bots. Upgrade, upgrade. Ruby Chan's moving furniture. We don't even own furniture. That's the thing though. Um. I... Okay, next time, we're going to keep the lights, we're going to keep our phone battery power on, okay? But I want to see, because I think things are happening around us, I just can't see them. So, is it just garbage bags? Does, does trash bags really count as furniture? I don't think so. I mean, like, maybe bean bags? But they're not really bean bags, they're trash bags. I <laughs> the poor man's bean bag. No, he might be missing really cool things. Man. Only an Animal Crossing. <laughs> we'll get out. Maybe the anxiety was the coffin friends we made all along the way. I was gonna be honest. Um or I was gonna say like I expected there to be 
more penalties for anxiety. Um, but no, we've been in darkness for about five minutes now. And nothing has happened yet. So like, exactly what were the penalties for darkness? Oh. Nice. We have anxiety now, chat. I mean, I mean, I've already had it for a while, but main character also has anxiety. Your anxiety levels are getting too high. God, that's so real. The more anxious you are, the more you'll panic. Panicking will quickly use up your remaining oxygen, lowering the amount of time you have left. You can reduce anxiety by staying in the light. Being in the light is determined by your lighter being on or your flashlight being on. Your phone's screen light is insufficient. Okay, now we have anxiety. Now things are getting real. Nothing's happening. I expected there to be more. This is not how I die. Didn't realize this was a slice of life. <laughs> Rumi Chan, where are you? That took a while, right? Like for me, anxiety would have kicked in in like Lightheaded. two minutes, you know? Man, where, where's all the cool spooky stuff? Oh, I think that's Rumi-chan. Rumi-chan's still moving furniture. <sighs> no. <laughs> I, I can't breathe. Okay, so the oxygen timer is actually really long for this one. You're just waiting? Yeah, we're waiting to see what happens if we run out of oxygen or anxiety. I think we may have used up our phone battery light a bit too much or too quickly. Oh, the cursor disappeared. Oh. Oh, we just... That's it. <laughs> Nox, so quitty, oh quitty. Thank you for me for the membership. <laughs> well, I guess that's it then. Nice. Okay, this time we're gonna let ourselves uh we're gonna we're gonna suffer anxiety. Fuck! But Fuck. we have Fuck. our batteries. Fuck. We're gonna save our batteries. <laughs> Help! Help me! Please! I, I wanted to know what Rumi Chan was doing. Okay, so we we Shit. save all the battery, save the lighter, save the fuel, okay. and then Shit. plunge ourselves into darkness. Okay. And then we're gonna wait until Ruby Chan starts moving, and then we're gonna turn the lights on. See if we can catch Ruby Chan in the act. Where like what kind of furniture are you moving around? Where also, that's my it? bean bag. Slash trash bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, whoa, mouse. Okay. There we go. I'll toss that all that out. Pick up the lighter. Phone down. All right. Now, anxiety time. <laughs> it's so. It's so dramatic. <laughs> okay. This is not how I die. Uh, give me a moment, chat. I I'm gonna go get myself some coffee real quick while I develop anxiety. Um, let me know. Let me know if the anxiety has kicked in yet. <laughs> give me just a minute. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Got this plenty of water. Uh. Oh, wait, anxiety. <laughs> wait, my anxiety kicked in already. Oh no, hold up, wait, wait, wait. The water barely boiled. <laughs> No, the water bit. Okay, hold on. I gotta. I just gotta really quick thing. Okay. You know what? It's it's warm enough. 
it's warm enough. It'll be fine. Okay. All right. Now we have anxiety. What if anxiety was RNG all along? <laughs> then I must have terrible RNG luck. Oh, wait, no, the water is actually pretty hot. I think it was like left her hot water from the from earlier. Okay. Oh, cute. <laughs> wait, so there were things. Wait, there were spooks. There were jump scares. We completely missed all of them because we were in the. Oh my God, we missed all of them because we were in the darkness. Malice, oh, quitty, oh, quitty. <laughs> Let me get some coffee while I develop anxiety it has to be the most relatable stuff you said. <laughs> Thank you for re upping the membership. Everything's fun. Oh man. Okay, okay. Lights off. The moment we hear noises, we're gonna catch roommate Chan in the act. We're gonna catch him red handed. What happened? Roommate Chen was like, like, crawling, trying to get on top of us. That sounds kind of like lewd. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. All right. Oi, Ruby Chen, take us up to dinner first before doing that. <laughs> All right. Fl lighter on in three, two, one. <laughs> they got closer this time. <laughs> oh, they're getting closer. They're getting cl closer. More and more bold. All right. Okay. We should keep our ears open. Use our ear balls to listen for any noises. See if they get any closer. Lighter on in three, two, one. No. No, darn it. This is not okay. how I die. <gasps> Ruby Chan. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool, though. I'm feeling lightheaded. <laughs> Sorry, that must be really bad for your eyes. <laughs> Girl, judgment. Thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Is it just those two jump scares? Okay, wait, wait. Okay. I'm gonna pretend that we've, like, oh no! I ran out of battery. It would be such a shame if, if there was a spooky ghost person oh no darn it <laughs> oh their hand oh wait no i'm suffocating <laughs> Before we suffocated, they put their hands on her chest, like, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but that was so cute. That was really cute. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, the game was actually a lot shorter than I thought it was. I... I liked it, though. The very first experience of, like, that pressure of trying to manage three different resource bars that you can't see was actually really nice. I like that a lot. We can be together forever with Rumi now. Yeah. You really can't say that about many other things, you know? Like, what, how many other times could you say that you're going to be together forever with someone? You know? I'm here with you. You'll be fine. As they put their hand on your chest. Oh, Kawaii. <laughs> Alright chat, um, 
think Shinri will never experience cats slapping you when they're hungry. Oh no. I'm so sad. I'm allergic to cats. I want to. I want to. Call the wave and give her me up with a membership. When is it my turn? <laughs> me and who, chat? Me and who? <laughs> Well, I I thought this was this was gonna be at least an hour. Um, well, I thought the game was gonna be at least an hour, but <laughs> uh, I I guess we'll go and call it here today. Uh, I I think Hawk is still doing his uh, his hand cam stream. That's the time. Not yet. I am saving Zatsu for next week because I have a thing that I want to talk about, but I'm waiting on the day. Like I'm waiting for a little bit of time to pass before I talk about it. Um, because Manachan was all like, oh, you know, if you go to some place and you do a thing, don't talk about it too, like, too soon. Like give it some time to talk about it first. Um, so like right now I'm waiting for that time to pass by before I can talk about what I did because there's a thing that I want to talk to or tell you all about. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I don't know. It's been, it's been really nice being here in Japan. Stardew, I would have to set up another stream for that, sadly. But I also don't want to start a Stardew stream because it's almost lunchtime. And if I get started... Can we talk about the broken glass? Oh, yeah. Um, that that was just like be getting a little rowdy. <laughs> little mochis, thank you for joining. Okwedi, okwedi. Thank you for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. Man, thank you for the super. Just want to say that watching you cut loose and having fun with the boys in the karaoke stream made me really happy. Can't wait to see Idol Shimmy on stage for real. I can't wait either. Man, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, man, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Crave that soldier boy too hard. Yeah, just a little bit. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Oh, Chami, thank you for the two months. Okay, okay. Loved hearing how you sounded since you got to Japan. Hope you're doing great. Ten of doing wonderfully. They're doing amazingly here. Great, thank you for the five. Thank you, thank you. Hodge, thank you so much for the nine months. Okay, okay. It's the short stream. Uh, I I really expected this to be longer, but honestly, uh, I like these indie games, like the short ones, bite sized, very quick. Mm. Um, but yeah, like the okay, so the the karaoke before we went to karaoke, we went to a what was it? What did we? Go, where did we go? Uh, it was like a all you can eat kind of ish place um it's like meat like grilling meat grilling meat right so like we went there we were grilling meat and uh wait i can talk about the story i think so too yeah i think i can talk about the story all right because like nothing crazy happened right we were like yeah it was like yakiniku but it was like a buffet yakiniku like you would keep ordering off of the uh, the menu and they would just keep delivering the food all the boys got this booth on their own and they just kind of kicked me out so i was there on the outside like away from them because like all all the boys were together in the booth right and then it was me and all the managers and manasans and on the in our own table and we were looking over at them right and they're like oh yeah boys we're gonna order so much meat and they were just eating a whole bunch of meat and then over here on the manager table like manager plus shinri table i was there and we're like you know what we we are like more responsible than them we're gonna go make sure that we have vegetables too because we need our dietary fiber so we were just like having a ball and eating our food and the boys were just like eating meat over and over again and i don't know when it happened right but at some point like halfway through the dinner they just stopped eating because they stopped getting any deliveries but like our table kept getting all the food and all the meat because we were like more accessible for the waiters to like bring us the food so like 
<laughs> myself and the mana chance of mana sense we're all just like there just sitting enjoying all the meat that was coming our way and then we like every now and then when we felt generous enough we would let them have a small serving of meat just occasionally like hey there's like two three pieces here left over would you guys like some of this you know because we are a just and generous <laughs> co-workers <laughs> Oh my god, but no, we we ate like so much. There was like so many different types. I think like my favorite one still is um tongue. Like beef tongue. It's just so tender. I don't know how they do it. It's so tender. Take some veggies and then we'll give you the beef, right? <laughs> TQ Aquidi, thank you for the five months. Camera for the kicking out of the booth. <laughs> yeah, we sure them. Haha. <laughs> My, my, how the turntables. <laughs> Epis, thank you for the seven months. Oh, good, yeah, good, yeah. Revenge for not being able to sit in the voice table with them. Yeah. But obviously, we were having fun because we had like a good amount of vegetables too. So it wasn't just like overwhelming amounts of meat and fat. Like, we had a nice serving of just some veggies. We had like um, a whole bunch of mushrooms, a ton of mushrooms. Um, like a mini salad of sorts, but yeah, ah, that was good. And then afterwards, when we went to the karaoke, they had the table. But like, the thing is, we, we kept ordering drinks, um, like just like you know, melon sodas and beers and all that. Um, and they never once came back to the table to pick up the 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 cups and the plates and the bowls and everything. Right? They just kept piling more and more onto the table. And they never took it back. So, yeah, and the, the oolong tea that wasn't oolong tea. <laughs> so, um, as the night went on, the table just became more and more stacked. And I believe at one point, like, we even had to get, you know the machine? Um, like, when you go to the karaoke machine, they have, like, that, like, iPad-like device that, like, you, you put the songs in. There wasn't enough space for that because there were so many cups on top of the table. So like when we got to near the end of the night and it was like really loud, uh, rowdy, uh, the table was completely stocked with cups and plates and stuff. So there really wasn't any <laughs> to like any space to like move around with. So that's why it, that's why I like accidentally knocked off a cup and it broke. But yeah, ah, uh, I want to go back again. I want to go back. I heard that there was a. Uh, there's a couple of karaoke places nearby that have very good rates for morning karaoke. So if you go in the off hours, I think it's like uh, 10 a.m. or like 11 a.m. until like 3 p.m. or so, like during that like morning, lunch, early afternoon period, it's like a dollar for 30 minutes. So I'm like, wait a minute, maybe, maybe you should go practice there. And I kind of want to. This is one place I've been looking at. Um, how to do it again since no podcast. <laughs> I'll have to see when the boys are free, when their schedules, see if we can drag them out there. But hopefully, hopefully we can all make it. Yeah. A cheaper doing work hours. Exactly, exactly. So I want to go find a, a, a cheapish, affordable karaoke place nearby to practice some singing. That'd be very nice because we weren't used to the microphones. The microphones were like super dynamic. Um, like you had to get directly, like you had to bring the microphone like right up against your lips and point it straight in like down your throat in order for the microphone to pick you up. Like it was very, very uh, insensitive. Like not like you had to get the microphone real close. I don't know why. Um, Cause like I'm I'm more used to like the microphone being like about one palm distance away, like one hand distance, because that's how it, we're trained to like keep it that far away, right? But no, like you, you had to like eat the microphone to get to pick up anything. <laughs> but yeah, your higher range sounded lovely. And you do and you do more practice. Tell me you cleaned it after. I we didn't. We didn't clean it. I 
I, we didn't even clean it like during in between songs. We just kind of left it there for for staff to clean because yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, though, I don't think any one of us got sick. Um, we weren't like passing around like uh, like germs or stuff because I think we're all good. I think we're all good. Um, Haka has had like his uh, like voice issues for a while, but I don't think that was contagious. So I think we're all we're all fine-ish. Haka just needs to rest a bit more. <laughs> but yeah, cover Fansa <sighs> covers are expensive. Covers are expensive, chat. I'm saving money right now because I don't know exactly how long I will be here. I mean, well, I, I know exactly how long I'm going to be here, but I can't say it specifically on stream. I'm going to be here for a few months. Um, so I'm trying to make sure that I can at least survive this. Also, taxes. <laughs> it's tax. I have to do my taxes in like two weeks. So. <laughs> So I want to make sure that I can at least pay off taxes first. Um, and then if I have anything left over, then I'll splurge a little bit. But for now, I, I have like a whole bunch of like taxes saved up. So like, or a whole bunch of money saved up in order to pay the taxes. But after the taxes are done, it should get a lot easier. Mm. <laughs> Will you sing Fansa when you get your 3D? God, I wish. I wish. Would they even give me permissions for that? I don't know if we can get perms for that. But I don't know. We'll have to see. I should go ping Manichai and see if that's a, a possibility. But I don't know. I don't know, Chad. I, I would need a lot more practice to be able to confidently, like, to, to pull that off. <laughs> we. It's a dream. It's a dream slot of mine, but, like, I don't know if I'm confident enough to pull that off just yet. I might try to stick with like just like the Frank Sinatra stuff, like really low. <laughs> Zerial. Zerial? Zerial? Thank you so much for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts in chat with the gifted memberships? <laughs> but yeah. I don't know when the 3D is going to be. So, like, I guess it's good to put it in earlier, maybe like in the future, like maybe next year. Or something like that. I'm looking forward to the improvements, compilations. I don't really have that many karaoke. <laughs> I have like the one very early on, and then I think that's it. I don't know. We. A Malaysian temple that has opened an invitation to Malaysian temple who want to join karaoke session next month after seeing it. You guys did it. Oh, that'd be so cute. I hope you all have fun with your own karaoke sessions. That'd be so cute. That'd be so cute. Hope you enjoy when you do. Please do stay safe though. Um, make sure like everyone is like no no one is coughing and like sneezing and or like has a cold or a flu. Koi Penance will wave regular sticks and shut Moto for Koi Papa. Ah, thank you, thank you. Sound of Silence? I'm not familiar with the song. Karaoke training montage. I, okay, so here's the thing. I'm scared a little bit because I don't have formal training. I don't know how... Um, I don't know how far I can push it, you know? So I want to go try like practicing on my own at a karaoke a couple of times. Uh, like, but not going too hard because I don't know like what I should be paying attention to. To avoid straining my voice or damaging it um but yeah hello darkness my old friend oh is that the song is that the song Ooh. Oh, let's take a look at it then original might be high but it would sound beautiful with your voice if we could just like drop everything down meet and give for the magenta super thank you thank you thank you so much if i could like drop it down by like two octaves. <laughs> the key's gonna be to sing for your diaphragm and not your throat. Mm. Just sing in your range. It'll, it'll all just be like really low, rumbly sounds. <laughs> uh, I think next week, um, during my usual off days on Wednesday and Thursday, 
I will try to go at least one of those days. I'll try to go to the karaoke bars where they have the uh, cheap, like early morning uh, prices. I think one or two of them, they're like a dollar each for 30 minutes. So like four dollars or two hour practice session. I think that'd be good. I think that'd be a, that'd be doable. But yeah, um, I'll have to wait until like the day afterwards. Not the, uh, not the day afterwards. Sorry. Uh, next week during my usual break days. But yeah, I will I will return back when I have the experience and let you all know how awkward it is to sing by yourself in a in a karaoke booth because like in my mind I'm imagining like a Gretzko style like go in there and then just like scream and shout. Um but yeah, apparently a Gretzko is not that popular here in Japan. Peter think of the soup. Uh, did you hear about the did you hear the news about the channel deck? I have no. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's not it's not that popular. Bianca, thank you for the soup. Uh, it was a treat hearing you singing during the karaoke stream. You have noticeably improved. Don't be afraid to push your boundaries when it comes to songs. You have so much potential. Ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the soup. Uh, no, Agretzko is not not that popular here. We were looking for um, Sanrio characters, like little charms for like keyboards, or not, sorry, not keyboards, keychains. And there was nothing. There was nothing. There's like a ton of like cinnamon roll. There's a ton of like the uh, Kuromi. Kuromi right now is like super, super popular. Um, but Agresco is, is like, I can barely find any Agresco stuff. Man, thank you for the safe. I don't need to put yourself down. So you've already improved a lot since your first character. You can keep at it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying. It's not because Japanese people don't like to show light to the issues that Gretzko touches on. Ah, I see. I see. Ah, I see. Yeah, maybe. Mm, like, it's predominantly a Western thing, possibly. But yeah. I, I want to find some Gretzko merch, but I haven't been able to find many. But yeah, Kudomi is like the big one right now. I think everyone like I went to um Sunshine City um in Ikebukuro. I went to uh Sunshine City and like in the middle of the mall there was this giant Kudomi display. It was like this huge display for just Kudomi and I was like, "Wow, that's so cool." Like it was a giant like huge there's like four panel lcd like display that took up a whole wall and it was like just all kurami and i was like dang she's getting real popular here but cinnamon roll is more popular than kurami that's what i thought so too like i thought like the more like the other characters were more popular but no kurami has been taking over but yeah it was a san real event it was super crowded yeah i remember it being really crowded too <laughs> Any pom pom pudding? I think there was a few, um, but like it was just like the standard kind of merch, nothing big. The main showcase, I think, was mostly Kudomi. <laughs> oh, I thought Gudetama was really popular too. I couldn't find many Gudetama. Like most of the Gudetama I found were like way down below in the uh, like bottom racks, shelves. <laughs> There wasn't much, but there was a really cute Kudetama plushie. It was just way too big for me to buy, sadly. Did you know Kurami has an original song? No, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I... The only, like, the one song that I have stuck in my head for Kurami right now is... That, like, AI version of Kurami singing that one song where it's like... Hey, I, glock, I got a Glock to my Rari. And then like it, it's like a little it's almost always played with like various images of like cars with kudomi like dancing on them like that's the only meme song that i know like in relation to kudomi i don't know where it started where it came from but like that's the only thing like i keep hearing it the, yeah i got a glock to my rari but yeah i don't, I don't know <laughs> AI song voices freak me out. It it is a little bit spooky. It is a little spooky. I don't know how they did it. Like they they took like Kudomi's voice and then mixed it into a song, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know that, but it's with gangster SpongeBob, Peter Griffin, and Bart Simpson. <laughs> um 
but no, but that that's been on my like uh on my like timeline. Seeing it and seeing it here right now and then. But yeah. We that's Mokoko's voice in AI. People fighting. Ah I see, I see. Man. Man. It's been it's been really nice being here, chat. Just like I wanna move here. I wanna move here. It'd be so good. Did the game finish? Yeah, it was like 30 minutes long. We finished the whole thing already, like twice. <laughs> Did you see the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Sanrio Happy Meal toys? No, I haven't. I haven't. I have actually been actively avoiding going to any big franchises. Um, like, I haven't been to Burger King. Because I... I assume it's gonna be, like, Burger King back in Elysium 2. So, like, why would I eat that when I can try, like, Japanese food here, a Japanese cuisine. Yeah, like a Moss Burger. Like Moss Burger is like a Japanese burger chain, right? They don't. There's no Moss Burger back in Elysium, right? So like, I, like I'll I'll try that, you know. I I just heard Haka through the walls. I don't know. Wait, hold up. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what he's doing. He's really loud. <laughs> But like, I want to focus more on just like the the stuff that I can't get back in Elysium, you know? I want to try like focusing all those, uh... Am I hearing things? Is that him? I don't know, I hear voices. <laughs> If I go to a popular franchise and I try something that's not on our menu items, yeah, like a Japanese exclusive menu item, that's what I think I'll do. But yeah, wait, is it? Oh no, that's not Haka. Okay, sorry, sorry, that's not Haka. That's um, that's like an announcement that they're making on like the PA speaker systems. It's really loud, but I have no idea what's being said. Okay, okay, it's not Haka. <laughs> but yeah, um, honestly, if I had the choice, I would like focus primarily on on exclusive food that I can't get anywhere else. Mm. Ah, I want to share some food pictures, but I have to get to clear through Manachan real quickly. We. <laughs> Are you waiting for Axel outfit reveal? When is that? It's like in 30 minutes, isn't it? Hmm. Careful if it's an earthquake. Thankfully it's not. Um the earthquake yesterday, we were not near the epicenter. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just zatsu for a little bit then. Hang on, let's head over to the chatting room then. Oh, I'm so small. There we go. Okay, and then let me grab you all, chat. Bring you over here. <clears throat> Let's see. I have to... Uh, chat box. Where's the chat box? There's the chat box. Grab. And... Oh, you can still hear like the spooky game music in the background. <laughs> Hang on, let's, go. let's close that out. There we go. Yeah. I missed the game because I was soon to do this tomorrow. Oh no. Okay. That's right. Wait, chat. Um here. I I know the scheduling thing with the time zones is a little bit difficult. Um I want to figure out how to do this properly. Um basically it is easier on my on my own schedule to draft the schedule in terms of Japan standard time because I'm living here in Japan for the time being. So when I make a schedule, it's based off like what I see, although that means that everyone is a day behind. So 
it is going to be difficult for me to like switch them, adjust them around. So I will let's see, how do I do this? Hmm. I actually missed the first 30 minutes of the stream because I think it was your PST time. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, the stream's probably a day behind. How do I make that very clear? I should, mm. I guess maybe I could write it in on the, onto the side. If you move to Japan, will you always start at 6 p.m. PST? Probably not. Um, if I move specific, like if I move to live here long term, um, I will most likely have to find a different schedule that works better. But yeah. EDT is 13 hours behind. Ah, oh, man. Once you put up a waiting room, we'll know how long it starts. I want to try to keep it to the usual of like 6 p.m. PST, uh, PDT and 9 p.m. EDT. I want to keep it there for now. Akiko, thank you so much for the super. Thank you so much for anything. Your stream has been really comfy and amazing. Really love listening to your streams while working. I hope you can always do what you like and success in everything you look forward to. Thank you. Thank you so much, Akiko. Thank you so much for the super. I hope you've been well. If you moved here, would you take Biscuit with you? I would have to, although... I'm not sure how well Biscuit would fare here. She's a big dog. Like, I, I've been seeing a lot of... I've been seeing a lot of dogs out here in Japan, but they're very tidy. They are small puppies. Like, really, really tidy uh, puppers. I'm not sure how well Biscuit will survive here in Japan. She would need to learn Japan wolf, right? <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe not until afterwards. But yeah. The biggest one's gonna be a Shiba Inu. Yeah. Moving dogs and risky is gonna be difficult. Yeah, she would be super stressed out. I know Biscuit's pretty like she's okay with cars, but that's because we only really drive like 30 minutes maximum to get to like a trail or like a hiking trail or like a park. Um, we don't actually go too far out, so, yeah. Miduko-chan, hello. Thank you for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. So, I don't know. If I, if I have to, if I want to move to Japan, it would have to be without Biscuit. I would love to bring Biscuit with me, but I don't know if I'd be able to, like, I don't know if she would be able to survive the trip. Um, the anxiety attacks would be pretty bad for her. But, yeah. My friend moved here from Korea, took her pets a bit to just, but her dog loved the backyard. They're, but that's the thing though, like, I I wouldn't be able to afford a place with a backyard. <laughs> I would only be able to afford a place that like, is kind of like this, it's basically just a room, and that's it. There's like no, no place to run around and no place to dig, because it's actually very hard to find dirt here in Tokyo. Um... I genuinely believe, like, outside of the parks, 99% of Tokyo is, like, concrete. Like, there, there's no dirt. There's no, like, there's no, like, earth, you know? It's just concrete. <laughs> it's Biscuit Big. She's, like, 45 pounds. So, like, a sizable, like, imagine a slightly bigger Border Collie. That's about the size. Mm. What if not in Tokyo? Ah... It would be difficult to set up. I don't know. It would have to be like, I would feel confident moving outside of Tokyo to live there. I know, I believe a few of uh, the JP Senpais also live outside of Tokyo, um, where like the rent is a bit more affordable, but I, I don't know. For me, I would just feel a lot more confident being here on my own um, because I don't know if Biscuit's anxiety would, would do well, especially with like the 14 hour flight. Like that's a little bit rough. But yeah, you can fill your apartment with dirt. <laughs> just have like one segment, just like one section of the house is completely covered in dirt so that she can dig. That'd be very cute. You'd have to sedate her. Yeah. Maybe check some stigmatized properties so it's cheap. I don't know if there's an actual thing like that though. Like, I know the concept exists, but like, I don't know. Is there like a website where you can just search and look up Stigmatized property, you'd be like, hi, I, I want to purchase stigmatized property for cheap. Yeah. 
I I don't know. I think just for like peace of mind, I'll stay with Biscuit. Um, if I'm going to be doing any moving, it'll probably just be moving within Elysium from one place in Elysium to like another place. You can get a free ghost roommate. That'd be very cute. That'd be very nice. I don't think the ghosts are going to haunt you. I kind of want to see like, you know what they say? Like the best way to learn uh, a new language is to like be immersed, right? So what what better immersion than being haunted by a, a ghost that speaks the language that you want to learn, you know? So if they like attack you, like, wait a minute, tell me exactly what you're saying, because I need to know, like, do you want me to run? Do you want me to leave the place? Like, do you want me to return the slab or suffer the curse? Like, I, I want to know, you know, like <laughs> just running with like a notepad in hand, like slowly trying to translate. <laughs> You'll only learn ominous phrases, right? <laughs> Wait, should we? What happens if it's a man? Uh, nothing? It's the same? I'm... There's no difference either way. <laughs> Real life Phasmo. Oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. The true horror is a language barrier, right? <laughs> Yeah, they're all ghosts in the end, so... <laughs> Man... Eden, thank you so much for the 13 months of Koidakwiri. I remember a TikTok of a Filipino in Japan asked for the ghost to speak to the phone for translation. Oh, <laughs> Koidakwiri, uh, thank you for re up the membership. During, when you land in Japan, there's like a big sign that says like, Hey, welcome to Japan. If you're a foreigner, um, like scan this QR code for like a handy dandy Japan tourism travel guide and then in the travel guide there is a translator app so you can like hit the button speak into it and it translates back and forth between like English and Japanese right so like <laughs> imagine you're trying to run right but you're like screaming like oh no the ghost is gonna kill me wait hold on beep 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 and then you like play it so you play on your speakerphone so that the ghost knows that you're screaming for your life <laughs> or like when they like if the ghost does like the like the red rum thing you know they like they like write a message in blood and you're like whoa wait hold up let me get google lens and you translate beep 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 and then you like take a photo of it to like translate you're like okay leave this place ah okay you know <laughs> Paranormal deep L. <laughs> what if they write kanji? Oh no. If they write kanji, they need to do the thing that they have in karaoke bars. Where like, in, you know how the karaoke machines, right? When they have kanji, they tell you the hiragana pronunciation on top in like the smaller text, right? They tell you like, this is how you pronounce the kanji, right? So like, even if you may not know what the kanji is, you at least know how to pronounce it. Furigana? Is it called Furigana? Okay, Furigana, yeah, Furigana. <laughs> they tell you like how to pronounce it, right? So like <laughs> when you like when the ghost writes in kanji, you have to like ask them like, oh, can you please provide the Furigana? Like I I cannot I cannot pronounce this. It's like sorry, I know you're being scary and intimidating and haunting me, but like I just want to make sure we're on the same page, you know? <laughs> a game where the ghost kills you if you don't learn Hiragana and Kanji fast enough. <laughs> and it has the Katakana too. That <laughs> Wait, wait, that'd be really cute. Like, like okay, look, like I'm imagining like a poltergeist, right? Like, it warns you like, oh, like, I'm going to throw this knife at you, right? But it's like the Kanji. So you have to like learn what the kanji is to know what object they're gonna throw at you, and then you have to like duck and dodge and like get out of the way. Ultra typing of the dead, yeah. Your spooky signs don't scare me because I can't read. <laughs> oh my god, it's so true. <laughs> That'd be so cute though. Duolingo going to the extreme. <laughs> Uh man. I was hoping to bring my um 
EMF reader and like paranormal, uh, like the spirit box and everything, but I forgot to pack those. Those are back in the little seal right now. Isn't there a JP Kenshi Go game that already doing that? Is there? I know there's a game, um, Homicipher, I think. Susan Sakura Snowfox, thank you, thank you for the super. Puniko came home on Wednesday, Puniko small plush, yeah. Puniko very squishy. Hope you take care, good, good care of Puniko. <laughs> There's a game called Homicipher, I believe, where there are these like spooky people that talk to you in a, un, in a like a in, un, indecipherable language and you have to decipher them. Um, I think we have perms for the demo. I don't know if we have perms for the full official game release yet, but I think we want to schedule that. I hear that's supposed to be a short-ish demo too, but yeah. I'm holding Puniko right now, Puniko happy. Yeah, let's go. There's a side of Puniko with the hat is not on, but like the entire like side of Puniko is like, it looks really squishy. So I've been like, like petting it the entire time. Is it a game inspired by the Tower of Babel? I'm not familiar with that one. But it's like a... How do I describe it? There are... It, uh, it's like... It's like a visual... It's like a dating sim. But... All the people speak a different language. And you have to figure out what the language is. By trying to understand context clues. And like... Recognize similar characters and words. Is it a dating sim? I don't know. I think it's a dating sim because there's like four or five like really hot spooky guys. Like one of them is called like Mr. Hand and the other one's called like Mr. Bags. Um, and I think, I th is it a dating sim? I don't know. Did my brain just default to it, it being a dating sim because there's multiple bachelors that you could like talk to? I don't know. Maybe I should not be assuming it's all just dating sim. <laughs> Mr. Hand. Yeah, there's like, there's like, like Mr. Red, Mr. Hand, Mr. Something. Like, there's like four entities and they all speak the same language. Oh, hey, Haka. Good to see you. Hello, hello. What are you up to, Haka? What are you up to? Haka, have you played Buried? It's a very short game. It took me like 30 minutes. It's also really cute. You have like a, like a, a roommate. But, I, I, it's like, it's cute and sad at the same time, because like, even in a coffin, you need to have a roommate to afford the rent. Like, I love you. Aww. <laughs> I kind of want to. It's real short. It's real short. It's really cute, too. I mean, maybe, maybe cute's the wrong word for it. Maybe cute only applies for me. <laughs> Arkea, think of the soup. Uh... The Gifford Chico book can check out Oshima Teru. I'm not familiar with either of those, but I will check, I'll look those up. I'll look them up. Like, there's a spooky, um, there's a spooky roommate with you who, like, stares at you lovingly. Like, they lock eyes with you and they will not break eye contact. Like, that's how cute it is, you know? And they'll hold your hand. And if you're scared, they, like, they hold on to you. They'll be like, it's okay, you know? They, they give you a little hug. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just lonely, Chad. <laughs> maybe I'm just really, do, do they have a pulse? Um, they, they have a great personality. They have a great personality, Haka. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I mean, you also have a pulse, right? I mean, like for, for maybe like 30 minutes before you suffocate, but you have a pulse and the anxiety will make your heart pulse fast enough for the two of you. So, you know, it's good. It works out, right? You you have enough heartbeats for the both of them for the for the two of you. It's all good. <laughs> uh, I mean, as long as they get your blood pumping in the right places, a eh? right the anxiety. 
<laughs> uh, how is your uh, food tasting stream, Haka? Looking up Homicide, it does look like a dating sim. The entities are good looking. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I saw the screenshots, like the little promo art. And I'm like, wow, this is really cute. This looks like a dating sim. And I... I'm not kidding. It, does. <laughs> it really does look like a dating sim. They're all really attractive looking. Like, yeah, they want to kill you. But like, it's, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I had an epiphany and ate the squid cartilage. Life is amazing. Oh, yeah, let's go. I love the squid cartilage too. Like it has like a little bit of taggy vinegary like flavor to it, but it's also got the chew and the texture. Oh man. Yeah, Mr. Gap, Mr. Silverhair. Ah, oh, so good. You have the perms for it? We have the perms for the demo. Uh, I don't know if they'll have the perms for the full game release. We have to ask when the game comes out. Mm. It's insane. It is. It's so good. I love it. Check out a game called Haunty. It might be up your alley. Ooh. Thank you for the recommendation. You really like vinegar? I love the tanginess. I don't know. Something about the tanginess is like really nice. I can see why someone called it a horror otome. <laughs> Mr. Silverhair, kind of. Right? See, chat. I knew it. I knew you would understand. You you are... <laughs> we, are we are the same people, chat. We are the same people. I knew you would understand. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hair, Mr. Silverhair is kind of hot, not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. This is why when I saw the screenshots, I was like, oh, this is absolutely a dating sim, you know? <laughs> like streamer like chat we are cultured very cultured chat same brain cell heck yeah <laughs> oh my god it is a dating sim i love how the coins are like like just out of curiosity they start looking it up and they're like oh i see the vision i see the vision <laughs> we know you for a year of course we understand <laughs> man i'm really happy to see more of this just like i mean like that and remember that sadako trend that went up a little while on twitter where like all the artists are drawing like sadako like either like in the cute helpless energy of like falling down from the, the really tall like tv or the really high up tv or like the absolute gremlin energy of like yeeting themselves down with like the twin axes and everything right i i don't know i'm really glad to see that people are seeing spooky things as not just spooky but it can also be wholesome and it's like ah it's really cute the wee ball ones are hilarious they are they're so good i love how creative they are they're so creative what if mr gap has gap moe exactly exactly right <laughs> Man, she gets stuck in the computer monitor too. Yeah, it's really cute. I'm glad to see more people having fun just exploring what is normally considered to be spooky, but then like making it a bit more lighthearted, a bit more funny, a bit more silly. Because you know, not everything that's spooky has to be like spooky, spooky. Wait, the entities in Homosephia are legit pretty. I understand now. Yes, yes. More, more koi's are seeing the light. More koi's are seeing the light. Have you read the Erma webcomic? I think I've seen it a few times. I have not read all of it, um, but I've seen a, a few of the Erma panels. They're very cute. I finally found the right crowd. <laughs> Everyone, make sure to go and put on your wish list. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I want to find it sometime. Maybe next week we'll try it out. We'll give it a shot. Homicipher even state that fall in love with us or run away is in the trailer. I know which we're choosing. <laughs> Some of us have been like this since the beginning. Yes. Good. Good. Oh, it looks so cute. I don't know. I just think it's like... I don't know. I don't know, chat. Okay, here's the thing though. Like, for some reason, like... <sighs> a friend of mine showed me a clip 
from Love and Deep Space. I forget which one the character was, but it was one of the like the like the the kind of slightly like prissy characters who was like getting attacked by a cat. And the cat was like getting close to him and like getting ready to like do the like whole nuzzle thing, right? And then like he's like, ah, oh, get this monster away from me. Like, oh I can't handle it, right? And it's kind of like if I saw a real person do that, I would have been like, uh, oh, come on, it's just a cat, right? But the fact that it's a pretty anime boy, like, changes it all. Like, it makes it palatable, you know? I don't know why, but it's like, I don't know, it's nice. <laughs> so cutie. Raphael, oh. So dramatic, right? But that's the thing, like, I don't know why. Like, if someone was that dramatic IRL, I would have been like, eh, you know? But like, if, if it's an anime, if it's an anime character, I don't know, pretty privileges? No, like even if they were pretty IRL, I would have been like, I'll stop being so dramatic, you know? But the fact that they're like fictional characters, I don't know, there's something about it that just makes it so much more nice, you know? <laughs> Anime privilege. Also because he's a fish. <laughs> he's a merman? Oh, ooh. Yeah, fictional privileges, really. It's really about the fictional privileges. Mer mer no, not that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> Please don't think about the Suva. Real person, get over it. Enemy boy, at your service, my king. Yes, exactly. I don't know. There's something about fictional characters. <laughs> it's like getting Cabadon. I hated IRL without good reason. Right? Like, I can't... I can't take a Kabadon seriously. Like, in my head, just trying to imagine what it would be like to Kabadon or be Kabadon, it's weird. Like, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel good, right? It, it's it just... There's this awkward, like, physicality to it, right? But, like, in a slice-of-life anime, oh, hell yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Like, any instance, any opportunity I can get it, you know? But in real life, just imagining it's kind of like... There's so many factors that go into it, you know? Like, okay. Number one thing that I would be concerned about is their breath. Because back in Elysium, a lot of people don't quite take care of their oral hygiene. So if you're going to comment on me, like, please at least have good breath, you know? Because... Ah, here, okay, here's the thing. In Japan, it is normal to use a tongue scraper. It is, like, completely normal to use a tongue scraper every single morning after you brush your teeth, okay? But, like, in Elysium, tongue scrapers aren't really a thing, you know? And if you guys aren't aware, the tongue, right? Like, when you wake up in the morning and you, like, look at your tongue, do you see how, like, white it is? That's bacteria building up over the course of the night, you know, when you're not like um, washing your mouth out with the saliva, right? You're not like eating food, you're not drinking anything, you're just kind of out for like eight hours, right? That the white gunk on your tongue is bacteria growth, right? So you have to use a tongue scraper to scrape it off, right? Yeah, they aren't a thing over there. Like, it, it's not commonly used, right? So what ends up happening is a lot of people end up brushing their teeth, but they don't brush their tongue. Yeah, you, you have to... I thought people's tongue scrape every day. That's, no, that's the thing. Like, I scrape my tongue, right? Because I have a tongue scraper to, like, after I brush my teeth, I use a tongue scraper, and then I have mouthwash, you know? Like, in that order, right? But so many people don't realize that there's a ton of bacteria on your tongue and you have to clean that up right right there are people who don't brush their tongues that's what i'm saying right so if you're gonna get cabadon but their breath is just like ah, right it's kind of like ah no you're gonna ruin the whole thing right so it's not just the it's not just the tongue right but then there's like the general body odor you know and it's kind of like because, uh, like, when you cab it on and you, like, you lean in, there's, like, the rush of air that, like, blows past, you know? And, like, you know, if they, if they, you, you gotta have good, you, like, you, good mouth breath, right? Good breath smell, good body odor smell, 
like not too much perfume um like your hair has to be good too like if it's like oily and it hasn't been washed in a while then you get like the the like gunky hair smell a lot of this is related to smells because my nose is very sensitive and i get headaches um during if like in perfumes and stuff like that right so like that's what that's what my brain goes to when i think about getting cabin on the irl it's like all these things have to be like just right you know and if it's not right then it's not really a good cabadon right but like none of this factors into like an anime cabadon right because you don't get to smell anything right you just see like the pretty lights get the camera angles and everything right but it's like in real life there's so many other like parts like factor into it with the fleshiness of people's bodies you know and it's kind of like ah uh. so like i don't want to be cabadon to irl you know so <laughs> Fictional privilege. Fictional privilege. This is why I am 100% on board with fictional anime Cabadon. I am not on board with, like, real fleshy meat body Cabadon. That's, that sounds so weird to say that way. <laughs> I think you have to have some hard time Cabadoning you. You're too tall and big, though. Yeah, that too. So, like, if they try to Cabadon, like, they're just kind of, like, leading to the side slightly underneath and then, like, looking up and then, like, looking down, like, what are you... What are you doing? You know? <laughs> wait. Oh no. Wait. Chat. Guess what time it is. Guess what time it is. It's almost time for Axel's outfit reveal, chat. We got five minutes left. So I will send you over to his waiting room. Thank you all for stopping by. I know the game was very short, but it was nice to have a little zatsu afterwards and chat with everybody. Yeah. Cabadon while leaning down. I think I could probably like Cabadon lean down, but like I want to be Cabadon and like by someone bigger, but it's hard to find people who are taller. But maybe, maybe in the future. <laughs> All right, chat. Let me go to outro so I don't stick around for too long because I don't want to over stream uh, Axel's outfit. There we go. Or huge man. It would be huge man. Yeah. Huge man from uh, the. As a brain not working, uh, obs ob observation duty series. There we go, observation duty. Yeah. All right, Axel. Please tell me you have a waiting room up. Please tell me you have a waiting room up. Where's your waiting room? Ah, found it. Okay, good. <laughs> all right, Chad. Thank you all for stopping by. Please go and support Axel and his new out his new outfit. I've been seeing a lot of um. What are they called again? Predictions. I've been seeing a lot of predictions and they all look so cute. Oh my god. I know that's the, the meme of like VTuber outfits is like you have some crazy outfit first and then like the second one just becomes casual and then like the third one goes like crazy and wild and then it goes back to casual again. Um, but I've seen like the, the casual predictions and they look really cute my favorite one i think the most creative one that i've seen so far was the one from axel's back the back side of it and it's like the it's like axel's back and there's like a bunch of axolotls like clinging to his jacket from behind i think i saw that one i was like that's such a creative prediction like that's so cute with a little axolotls like climbing against on the back of his jacket and everything <laughs> all right I'll send you over to Axel's waiting room now. Bye bye, everybody. Koyasumi. Koyasumi.